I always stress the importance of doing MCAT questions to improve your score. That is definitely the best way to improve. But that doesn't mean studying content is a bad idea. It's important to review content, but how do you do it? When should you do it? Hey guys, my name is Jack Weston, and today I'm going to discuss how to properly review content for the MCAT. Before we get started, consider subscribing to this channel to get notified of all my videos. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Typically, when you think about studying for the MCAT, the first thing that you think about is let me go ahead and read books and learn about this content. But the problem with this is that you've already seen this content, at least in your pre medical courses. And yeah, maybe you don't remember everything, but you've learned it before. So it's a huge mistake to just spend a month or two reviewing content before you even start doing questions. What I recommend is just jump into the questions. And once you do questions, you have the opportunity to figure out what you're weak on, what you're exactly bad at. And that's the best time to review content. So here's exactly how I would go about reviewing content. I would do, let's say, a passage or two, or maybe a bunch of discrete standalone questions. And then right afterwards, I would check and see what I got wrong. And I would figure out why I got it wrong. Was it because I didn't read the passage properly? Was it because I didn't understand the question? Or maybe it was because I didn't understand the answer choices? If it's none of the above, then it might be content related. And if it's content related, you have to be honest about what specific topic you're weak on. So let's say you're weak on some biology content like the difference between polar and nonpolar, right? And knowing the differences between the two. Well, if that's something that you're not aware of or you, know, you think you're weak on it, it's a great time to go into a test prep book, any book really, it doesn't make a difference, and read about it. Read about that specific topic. And once you're done reading about it, I would say go in and do more questions on that particular topic. See if you can get everything right after you've learned about that. Chances are you're probably still weak on it, so you may need an additional source like a tutor or maybe even just Google, right? Just Googling the topic, seeing what comes up, trying to figure out what is the major part of this concept that you need to understand. Learning content is not easy. Studying in general is just not easy because you have to really focus on the idea. The concept is something that might take a little while to kind of digest or absorb. So don't be afraid to seek help or watch a YouTube video or Khan Academy video or anything really to help you fully grasp that content. And once you have done that, do even more questions, right? So it's a, it's a combination review books, watch some videos, do some questions, and then do it all over again, right? Until you think that you've strengthened that content to the point where you're not going to miss any questions if they ask about that again. And that's way more effective than simply reading content books where you don't even know if you're weak on it. At least when you do questions first, you know that you're weak on it. So that's the when, right? That's when you should start doing content. But how? Well, like I said, go straight into books, ask someone, a friend, a tutor, go into YouTube videos. Today, we have so many different options to learn that it's not a good excuse to say, I don't get it. You can get it if you spend time on that specific weakness. If you need help with the MCAT or simply want more tips on how to review content, please feel free to visit my website, jackweston.com. You can also leave a comment below and I'll answer it. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends about it. Thank you so much for watching.